What's going on everybody, King Tar Heel here, and uh, right quick I have some Teeth of Naros armor for you guys. I just completed the main quest of Teeth of Naros for my review. I'm currently going through uh, some of the side quests to make sure I get a full experience of the Teeth of Naros, so the review should be up later today. Uh, but I wanted to show off some of the items that I got. So the first thing you'll see I just shot there was the Stormcaller bow. Uh, that's a lightning bow, and the Fey Blades that I'm using now are... Lunalis Crescents. Uh, both of these are items that I got uh, in the expansion pack. Uh, the Fey Blades actually have Primal Damage, which is the new damage uh, that has been added to the game. Uh, neither of these weapons were better than what I had uh, prior to coming in here, which is a disappointment. Uh, but the armor set is off the Terex uh, theme, uh, which is the new enemy that they have uh, in the game. Uh, and I actually think it's pretty cool. It looks you know, kind of silly like a Birdman outfit, but I actually think it was pretty cool. And uh, I also like at the end of the game, uh, when you beat the main quest, you'll be given a full set of armor. That's one thing I really, really liked uh, in comparison to the other uh, Legend of Dead Kel, where you were kind of getting bits and pieces. Uh, so this is in the floating city uh, that you'll see. And in case you guys were wondering, uh, you absolutely can jump off uh, the floating city. And you actually do get an achievement for it as well. So uh, and they hit that save button and go ahead and jump off uh, and... You can you know get that achievement. So anyway, guys, just a quick video. My review should be up shortly. Uh, I've been working on it, uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, enjoy the armor, and if I get any more weapons and stuff, you know I'll post it for you guys. So that's it. Take care. Bye.